We're following breaking news from the south side. Chicago police say they are looking for one gunman and have another offender in custody after a shooting in Greater Grand Crossing. Yeah, multiple people are injured. WGN's Courtney Spinelli is live at the University of Chicago Medical Center with our latest update now. Courtney? Micah and Ray, within the last hour, police have confirmed that four people were wounded in this shooting, including a 59-year-old man who has died from his injuries. Police say he is believed to be one of two innocent bystanders shot during this incident. We have one person inside over here. We have two people on the street and one person over at Subway. We need four ambulances over here, and I need all the cars that we got over you can hear scanner audio there as first responders were arriving on scene. CPD confirms it was the shot spotter gunshot detection alert for multiple gunshots that first brought officers to this shooting earlier. According to police, it all happened just after 530 tonight. Officers arrived on scene and found two victims on the ground with gunshot wounds, both who they believed to be innocent bystanders. A 59 year old man was shot in the abdomen, taken to UFC, where he was pronounced dead just after six tonight. A 49 year old man was standing near an ATM when he was shot in the forehead, also taken here, where police say he is in grave condition. Officers found the offender, who was also shot in the leg, a short distance away near the subway near 71st in Wabash. They say a gun was found near him and he was taken to Christ Hospital, where he was placed into custody, but said to be in critical condition. A short time later, police say a fourth person was dropped at UFC with a gunshot wound to the leg. They believe that person to be a victim. Police say preliminary investigation suggests the suspected offender in custody was involved in a dispute and shot a victim in the leg. That's when a third party on scene exchanged gunfire with him and appears to have hit him in the leg. Police have not identified that person and say they are not in custody. Obviously, it, it's a, a tragic incident, but a lot of good folks live out here. We believe it's an isolated incident, and in this case, fortunately, we at least have one of the offenders in custody, and we'll work hard to bring the second offender into custody as well. Deputy Chief Don Jerome says they need any information they can get from any witnesses or anyone who may have been in the area. We spoke with a pastor from nearby who says this community needs to find a way to navigate this together to create a better future. He says he's been speaking with the aldermen in that area since the moment this all broke earlier tonight and plans to bring the community together in prayer Friday night. He hopes it sends a message that if anyone wants change, it will take everyone working together to make this neighborhood safer. Now, it's not clear how many shots were fired during this incident. And again, police say they do have one person in custody that they believe to be involved in the incident that was also shot by another person, but they are looking for at least one more person that was involved in all of this. Anyone with information is asked to reach out to Chicago Police. Reporting live outside of the University of Chicago Medical Center, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News. Thank you for the update, Courtney.